I want to be more like a dog. Not just any dog. I want to be more like Tyson. This is the story about an old man who's young at heart. One whose wisdom has changed my life and many around him. This is the story about an old dog teaching new tricks. A boy, a monster, a companion, who's dog-eared the most important chapters of our lives. This is the story of more than just a dog. This is the story of Tyson. Well, the reason I bought Tyson was because the boyfriend that I was dating when I bought Tyson, he had this night where he and I'd been with him for two years and this guy took me aside was like I'm not going to marry you you're pretty much just here for now so I was like screw this I want a guy that's going to stick around I don't think Tyson knew that I was like all right listen I'm buying a ride or die you have no choice about this (laughs) you will suffer with me (laughs) But um, Tyson seems to have enjoyed every minute of everything we've been through. Like, there are parts of my life where I lived in my car, parts of my life where I lived on the street, parts of my life where I lived in a trap house, parts of my life where Tyson and I were living in a tent, walking down the street with my bike and two dogs. And he's loved every minute of every second that he could have with me. For four years of my life, I dated a guy, and piece by piece, um, this guy would take chunks out of my finances, and eventually he, he made some bad decisions and went to jail, and our apartment was leased in his name, so when he was picked up by the police, I had to go. I had to grab our dogs. At that point in time, my boyfriend's mom had contacted me and said, look, I know you're trying to get everything moved out of the house and you've got your hands full. If you want, I can take the dogs. And that was the last time I seen my dog for a year and a half. I don't know if it was because she felt like it was my fault her son had ruined his life, but regardless, she kept my dog from me for um, way too long. Eventually, we had made three or four appointments to meet up with her um, to get pick Tyson up and she hadn't shown up and at this point in my life I was dealing with a tumor on my liver, I had two surgeries and this woman was supposed to be bringing my, my, my love, my, my dog, my soulmate with fur to come to the hospital and um, she never showed up. Um, however, as soon as they found out that I'd gotten a new puppy, it was the first thing they did. I had Dominic maybe three days and they showed up with Tyson at the front door. Then we had a house full of four dogs. Kind of nice that Zach has been able to take Tyson and give him the one-on-one that he deserves and, um, that he really has waited so long for. For the life of a dog, he's had a really good life, but if there was not the life of that dog, I don't think I'd still be here. Tyson's kind of the fuzzy glue that held me together. It's pretty good, hey buddy? Hmm? Hey? You're a good boy. Love you. I overcomplicate things, he simplifies them. I look at a million tasks and he looks at one. I'm constantly hungry for happiness. Tyson is always happy. Sometimes I'm jealous at how much attention my girlfriend gives to him. 
and I know he's jealous of the same thing. <laughs> Are you getting jealous? Are you mad? Are you jealous? Tyson knows what he likes and doesn't divert from it. Belly rubs, sniffing butts, licking faces, walks, treats, swimming, and sticks. He loves sticks. <laughs> Daily, I wonder if he's just always high. Like if every day is just a mushroom trip for him. Basically, Tyson's always been in our timeline for every single significant event that's happened. He's seen my sister go through this up and down roller coaster. He's seen me leave home, come back home, parents separating to getting back together. He's the only dog that's been in our family long enough to see all of that. He's been through a lot and you know, what I, what it, the hardest thing for me going through that stuff was knowing it's my job to protect this dog and everything that I'm going through, he's going through it differently in the, through a dog's eyes. But the reality is, Tyson is an old man. His bones are brittle and he wakes up sore and goes to bed early. A year ago, we found out his body was full of cancerous tumors and irreversible discomfort that we all had to deal with. A year ago, we were told by the vet that Tyson wouldn't be with us for much longer. Knowing this, I took Tyson under my wing to give him the best last few months a dog could live. Those few months turned into a year, and that year turned out to be the best year a human could live too. <laughs> Because of Tyson, I've met her. And because of Tyson, I've become this guy. Because of Tyson, I never stopped feeling loved. No matter how bad things got, I always had a reason to keep pushing on because somebody needed me. You know, if I wasn't going to do it for myself, you know, at a certain point in time when you're going through that shit, people give up. They give up on themselves because they don't feel like they're worth that stuff. But a dog is worth that stuff. You know, I think we can learn a lot from dogs. The best things in life have finite timelines, constant reminders that if we want them, we need to be present with them. While Tyson's time here is limited, his paw print will forever be embedded on those who got to know him. I want to be successful. I want to be more present. I want to live a life that's happy, healthy, and less stressful. The truth is, I want a lot of things out of this slice of life. But in a nutshell, I want to be more like a dog. But not just any dog. I want to be more like Tyson.